Our next guest of the evening is coming in to talk about his third entry in the Wretch series, YouTuber Billy the Squid. Come on down! How's it going, buddy? How's it going, bud? So let's really get down into the meat and patats of why we brought you onto the show today. Oh, absolutely. A third entry in the Wretch series. We thought it was tied up with the second one, but a trilogy of all things. What brought this on, and uh, where do you see the Wretch series going? Oh, yeah, that's a, a simple question. So whenever Wretch 1 came out, we already knew we were going to be doing a sequel, Wretch 2. But uh, when the studio approached me about a trilogy, I, I was flabbergasted, honestly. I thought that we had tied up all the loose ends in 1 and 2, but then I got to really thinking about it, and, you know, there is quite a bit more for the story of the wretch. And that's kind of where we're at right now. What is going on, Tentacrew? My name is Billy the Squid, and today I want to talk to you about the wretch in Elden Ring and how the open world changes everything that you have known about the level 1 starter class in a Souls game. Now in those prior videos, I said the good and the bad about why starting as a level 1 character in a Souls game can be, but I didn't have my hands on Elden Ring at that point. I wasn't aware of how much the open world and Elden Ring's mechanics would actually impact that starter experience as the level one character. And I am happy to say that this is probably the most accessible and the most rewarding level one class that From Software has made in any of their games. The open world really changes things up to a point where it's, it's very enjoyable. I don't feel that even from a very new player perspective, that the wretch is necessarily a bad start. Now, I understand there's gonna be people out there that don't want that kind of an experience. They don't care about that building a character from the ground up from nothing to something. They just wanna go into a fantasy world with a cool character and do cool shit. And that is all fine and dandy. I am not going to try to convince you outside of that. What I am going to try to convince you of though is that you can do the wretch. Anybody I feel can do the wretch from a new player's perspective and this is something that the prior Souls games I couldn't tell you that in good faith. I couldn't say yes everybody can start the deprived class and be able to get through Dark Souls 3 no problem. That is going to roadblock a bunch of people and ruin their experience potentially. Elden Ring on the other hand gives you all the tools to circumvent that and really be able to take the game at your own pace and figure out what is going to work for you. And now that I've gotten my hands on Elden Ring and I am fully grounded in the belief that my second video was the appropriate video to put out, I do genuinely believe that this is the most accessible and the most rewarding level one start that the game has to offer. And it comes in a few different flavors. The stealth mechanic is one of the primary reasons that I think this is the most accessible thing. The fact that there's no gated boss starting, like preventing you from getting to the open world is another big factor in this. And the fact that there are a bunch of different ways that the game allows you to be able to build up your character more so than what the other games were able to do. This game, you can either go farm enemies to get armor, you can go and farm weapons, you can go and farm souls if you want to then go and purchase armor and weapons. And those are the big issues that a new character starting off in this game is gonna have. The lack of armor, and if you don't like the club, the lack of a decent weapon are going to be what you're going to want to get done first. And since the open world doesn't really push you into a narrative direction immediately, that can be your primary goal coming out of the gate. I am naked, I am afraid, Consider this arc, but in a medieval setting. I need to find armor, weapons, food, craftables, and get myself built up so that I can push forward with the challenges. And if I see a challenge ahead that I want to try to take on in my current state, I'm more than welcome to do that. But if I fail at it, the punishment isn't as steep as what some of the prior Souls games were, and I can always move away from that and come back later. I also feel like starting as the wretch in this open world scape really lets you appreciate some of the more nuanced mechanics that Elden Ring offers. The stealth mechanic, I feel like, if you go in with any of the other starter classes, is going to be slept on by a majority of players. They're just gonna run in and man anything down that gets in their way. But as the wretch, you can do that if you really want to. And if you have the skill levels for it, I don't see any reason why you wouldn't. But when there is a simpler option that can get you just the same reward and at less detriment to yourself, 
why wouldn't you go the stealth route? And like I said, any class can do this, but I don't think that a player starting as any of the other classes is really going to have this mindset in mind. They are going to be more prone to going in guns blazing. And no one is telling you you got to use the stealth for combat either. The glorious thing about an open world scape and the way that From Software has done its dedicated loot pool, and this is going to be as spoiler free as possible, is since you get stealth immediately and you get the horse from very, very early in the game, you can do your best naked guy on a buffalo impression all across Limgrave and beyond if you want to. There is not really any areas that are particularly gated off from you. So if you just wanted to take your horse and ride off into the sunset wherever you want to go, you can ignore most enemies by doing that and just run around looking for dedicated loot drops or whatnot. Just see what you can find and see what would supplement your build. You can get a build in this game from nothing to something without even having to fight a single enemy. And I think that is something that is glorious about Elden Ring as well. And another reason why the Wretch class is more accessible in this game than in any other game. From Software's Dark Souls and Bloodborne, they didn't give you those options. They had you on a set path where you had to overcome certain obstacles to get the objective done. And it blocked you off from anything else that was ahead of that obstacle. Elden Ring doesn't do that. And while you won't be able to get boss items, or maybe some specific stuff within dungeons because stealthing around in dungeons isn't quite as easy and convenient as it is doing it in the open world. There is more than enough in the open world to get what you need done, done until you are confident enough to start engaging in combat. And the best thing about riding off to somewhere you're potentially not supposed to be at the very beginning of the game with no armor and no weapons is that there's no risk to losing anything if you did happen to get potentially one shot because some of these areas are ridiculous later in the game but again there's no risk to it there's not even a risk to you getting stuck in those places because say for instance you go and drive off into the farthest corner of the map and die it's going to take you back to wherever the last site of grace was with the exception of teleport chests but um, i don't think you'll be running into those too often and if you do all you have to do is get to another side of grace. So just running and stealthing is going to be the name of the game in that regard as well. And anything I'm saying here can be done on any of the other classes in the game. I just feel like the wretch does it a little bit better in the fact that everything is rewarding and you're not going to be ignoring something that you pick up just because you've already got something. But any class is viable. And I think that's the biggest thing about Elden Ring. From Software has really done an amazing job making every single class feel super rewarding in their own way and i don't think there's honestly a wrong case to be made for starting any one of the starter classes but the wretch while it has a bad reputation from the prior games and a bad reputation that i helped push i do think elden ring has done the best job at making it the most accessible and the most fun level one start that they have ever made but let me know what you guys think down in the comments below tenacrew much love bye bye